Okay. Uh, Susan is our <laughs> our treasurer, um, and uh, in the back is Dennis Eisner is our uh, recording secretary or administrative assistant. Okay. Uh, okay. Mr. There you are. Okay. And is is uh, board president and parliamentarian. Public safety, legislative ambulance. There Board secretary, Whatever he needs to catch off. Uh, and uh, we have a couple other board members. I don't think they're all here. Present. Reggie. Yeah. Where's Reggie? Yeah. And Reggie's a board member. Uh, board member at large. So, uh, you know, we basically doubled the size of our board uh, because we feel that in this year uh, we're going to be dealing with a lot of problems that are going to be coming down from uh, uh, various sources without naming them up. Uh, okay. So our neighborhood's going to be having to address those concerns. I and would just we want say that we, we anticipate uh, having a full agenda. Yes, we'll have a full agenda. So we have to have people be able to do things and we have to... We are recruiting uh, committees, uh, chairs, so to address the point, point persons on those topics. So we, now we have somebody to deal with uh, Veterans Affairs. We also could deal with art, uh, art issues. Um, here's another one. Denise just came in, our, our vice president, one of our vice presidents. Uh, and so, you know, we're addressing more concerns than we did the last year. Uh, two business chairs, uh, co-chairs, because uh, we also want to retain our uh, small businesses in the neighborhood. We've uh, seen over the last so many years a loss, a decrease in small businesses in the North Market area. And uh, we also know uh, elsewhere in the district. And uh, we uh, we feel that the, uh, please turn that down. It's one of our ground rules not to have phones on. Uh, Anyway, uh, and so uh, these are the kinds of things that are very important to us to uh, 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 keep the neighborhood a prosperous one. Uh, of course, we want to advocate for uh, businesses, because uh, TNC was here doing a presentation, we want to advocate for businesses that are affordable. So when people say we want to have a safe way in here, that's not affordable. So I don't know why, you're going to have to get that through your head. I don't no. go, I, you know, you have to buy things that, you have to advocate for something that we can actually keep. Um, we had on the agenda uh, the. Uh, I do want to say the, the that, like, what was what was proposed was like a Safeway hybrid. Uh, what what they are um, trying or experimenting at Berkeley, not like a full on Safeway. And I would also argue that it's probably just as just as affordable as some of the other ideas that, that you know was floated out. Yeah. But let's move on. That the concept that I'd like to see is that the money stays in the neighborhood. So if it's a safe way and it's another entity coming that's taking the money out, like right, yeah. some entities do, then the money uh, goes out of the neighborhood the, uh, and uh, does it, uh, it, it pays for its uh, board of directors that are not even here or the people that own the corporation okay, somewhere else. Um, was there anybody here from uh, Rub, Rum and Sugar uh, to represent their business? Okay, I just want to make sure I called that item. Um, uh, I did see the person I talked to asked to come. Uh, they went after a uh, live, limited live permit and they were all enthusiastic to meet their neighbors. And here I did, we've done a lot of outreach to meet so they could meet their neighbors, but you know, they, it's our loss. Um, weren't able to meet their neighbors. Uh, I guess they expect everybody to come to their, their business addresses on the uh, agenda. So you go meet them and tell them where were you. Uh, and uh, they will uh, be happy to see you. Um, okay, that uh, we're going to be doing our uh, report? Land use report. Land use report. Um, first thing I did with the help of Dennis the other night, I sent an uh, email to the planning department in support. Uh, the addendum number two to the Eastern Neighborhood Environmental Impact Report, which uh, raises the height limits in certain neighborhoods, which are the Mission, Show Place Square, Trail Hill, the Central Waterfront, buildings uh, more uh, more affordably affordable. If that makes sense. Um, and I, mean, I did miss a concern I have with sea level rise on the Central Waterfront. Because the city's <laughs> sea level report 
to me, um, shows a worst case scenario of 20 to 30 foot sea rise on the bay, which would put it well over the seawall that we have now in the bay and would make any uh, PDR service along the waterfront vulnerable to sea level int intrusion. And if they put housing on the ground level, they ground level housing, sea level intrusion, and basement parking garages could get flooded really easy. So that was my major, my major concern. Uh, I also have uh, uh, other uh, issues around the PDR and how we're destroying automotive services in South Market at an um, absolutely astonishing level. Almost every building, every building notice I get, they're demolishing an auto repair garage, a gas station, a tire place. Uh, so far in South Market, 90% of auto repair places are on the chopping block or are proposed to be on the chopping block within the next couple of years. And they're putting in thousands of parking spaces for thousands of cars and there's no place to get gas, there's no place to repair it, and they're not putting in electric charging stations. That's so, I mean, it doesn't make common sense. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> uh, so that, and another one I did, over here at 1138 Sutter Street, which was originally the home of Larkin Street Youth Center, uh, the la a lady wants to put in La Maria's Bakery, and we sent a letter of support to planning on their building application and welcoming them into the neighborhood as a new business. Also, we had a presentation a month or so ago from uh, 450 um, O'Farrell Street, which was the uh, Fifth Church of Christ Science new building. They're having a community meeting on the 22nd at the uh, Senior Center at 481 California from 6 to 7 to update the neighborhood on the changes and the current design plan for that building. That is currently being done through an EIR. Are going to demolish that old building? They're saving the facade of the church, but the interior and the, uh, the apartment building next door will be. Oh, they're coming to the next meeting. Right. Wait till the next meeting. Um, you can hear it all and ask all your questions. I also have a notice for this Thursday for a project we've also uh, reviewed here, which is at 2070 Folsom Street, which is a housing project that's also using um, housing for transitional age youth and uh, retail services, community-based retail services, and on-site child care. That'll be heard on March 16th, around 12 noon, for discretionary review of the Planning Commission. I've also called for environmental documents for the project receiving review for 135 Hyde Street, which is in uh, 1920, 49, 400, uh, 4,950 square foot auto repair building, which they want to tear down and build an eight story mixed use building with 72 dwelling units. What was that address again? What was that address again? Uh, 135 Hyde Street. It's just down the street from 101 Hyde, where they want to tear down a building and build an apartment building. They will tear down. Um, another project receiving environmental review, which I've called for documents, is 225 to 227 Shipley Street in the South of Market neighborhood. It's a rectangle-shaped building. Uh, it's 3,750 square feet. And there they want to uh, merge two lots and build a 45-foot tall, four-story, 11,496 square foot residential building with nine residential units. And also receiving environmental review is 235 Valencia Street, which is in the Mission neighborhood. And um, right now it's a single 9,000 square foot rectangle parcel. And the building was built in 1924 and was formerly used as a motorcycle shop. They're going to tear it down and build a 55 foot tall 44 dwelling unit by uh, with 5,479 square feet of ground floor retail. Gives you an idea of the destruction of our, our repair facilities in this neighborhood. And the last building I just got yesterday 
is 955 Polk Street, which uh, is a, uh, is currently they're going to demolish a two store a 24 foot tall automotive storage and repair facility, and then uh, proposed to build an 85,000 uh, square foot building, which is will contain 94 dwelling units consisting of one three bedroom, 15 two bedroom, and 78 one bedroom units, and it's a nine story building. I also have a new market coming into town at 555 Bolton Street. New Seasons Market, a form of the retail, is proposing to occupy the ground floor of the building at 555 Mar uh, Bolton Street. They're having a, a pre-application meeting um, and it's to be held at Hayes Valley Playground, 699 Hayes Street on March 23rd at 7 o'clock. Then two projects I did not make comments on because I'm neutral on the project. One is a building permit application for 744 Harrison Street, which would uh, change of use from a limited restaurant and warehouse to an office building. The other one is uh, 645, 647 Valencia, which is change of use from a large and commercial, commercial residential building. The last thing I have is on um, 30 day rule for land use at the Board of Supervisors. Uh, planning code change for production, distribution, repair controls, eliminating transit oriented repair special, or excuse me, retail special use district, and correcting height limits in a UMU, which is a category designation for housing, uh, in a PDR district of San Francisco, which is Mission Street, to the Journal, um, and Showplace Square. Another one uh, is that's proposed by the planning department through the mayor's office. Another one is administrative code short-term residential retails sponsored by Supervisor Preston and Reed, which would devise the residential conversion ordinance for our housing platform to exercise reasonable care and verify the residential units is on the city registry prior to accepting a fee for booking a short-term rental, which is a very good idea. Uh, that'll do. Okay. Wow. Uh, What's the third down, or? You want to wash it to a firm? Try it So what's next on the update? Okay, our, our next alliance meeting are going to, is going to be uh, um, Next, uh, the first, the second Tuesday of the month, April the 11th, at six o'clock in this room here. And I want to call your attention to under announcements. Uh, the uh, Tenderloin Community Benefit District is going to be having a grand opening on Wednesday, the 29th, at uh, four o'clock, at their off new offices at uh, five. Uh, 12 Ellis Street, and it's open to the public. And I, it's uh, uh, our community benefit district uh, is uh, the people that do the uh, cleaning. Uh, you see them with in the blue uniforms, and they clean the sidewalks uh, and the tenderloin. Uh, and uh, uh, they have now new offices, and so uh, it's your chance to get to meet them. They'll have some refreshments. Uh, you need to, you know, people need to engage on what kind of. The, this is a, one of the, the tenderloin. Uh, Community Benefit District is the one organization down here, because there's three of them, uh, or actually now two. Um, we took over one and it's no longer, but there are stakeholder meetings. And uh, the uh, uh, Community Benefit District has a board of directors, that have representatives that are business owners, uh, <clears throat> and half their board is uh, uh, property owners, because that's who pays them to their assessments to do the work that, that they do in the neighborhood. So. Um, get a chance to meet what they do and, and um, encourage them to uh, part, you know to get find out what they do and uh, you know ask more questions. Um, now, um, anybody else have any announcements uh, uh, that you want to um, inform us about for the next month? Wow, it's a dead neighborhood. Nothing happens. I know there's all kinds of things that happen. It's already happened. Okay. <laughs> Thursday, I'm planning to tell the uh, mayor that raising the uh, AMI for affordable housing to 
85% to 85% is not acceptable. All right. That's, uh, that's what they're going to be talking about. Any, 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 other, uh, any other tidbits of uh, <coughs> Denise? Do you have something? Oh, uh, well, I'm just trying to get the Democratic County Central Committee to um, endorse a ballot initiative for cannabis legalization with no jail time. Okay. Um, you know, the DCCC, I've got to get all of every, you know, i got to get the information out. It passed, but we have another uh, initiative that has no jail time, but we are outspent by techies. But, you know, the Prop 64 only, it, 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 it prevents wealth distribution. You know, you only only Gavin Newsom's friends are going to be able to so go you want, you want a, uh, a, I you like want a measure that will uh, make it so that it's more accessible right. marijuana to people, not this just so the people have lots of money. And this is what this organization is about, saying that you know we have rights too, and we should have access to health and uh, yeah. housing. They're trying to charge all the more things, for uh, You know, adequate transportation, uh, if right kind of food, healthy food. These are the things that do we constantly have to ask. Uh, people to provide us because uh, they, for some reason, you have to have millions of dollars to, to uh, ever get it. Our civil right, but we've got well, billionaires. It's hard to they billionaires. They don't. So pass keep us the surprised on that uh, if there's a meeting. Uh, yes. Or, or well, there was a milk meeting um, next Tuesday. The general meeting. Okay. Because the milk club is the first, the pe first people to work to talk to about it. Because they endorsed this stuff without even knowing it had jail time. Because nobody read it. Neither did the D Triple C. They didn't read it. So I didn't know that I was going to have to educate this many people so fast about it, and I, you know, like three pe three percent of the people that voted for Prop 215 voted against Prop 64. So that was something, you know, that's something there. But you know, and everybody who who read it hated it. You know, okay. it's just the people who didn't read okay. it voted yes. Okay. So, is there any other announcements that people have that uh, want to uh, tell our uh, our audience on the camera or? Um, I just want to say I enjoyed this meeting. It was my first one. And also, I'd like to invite you guys. We have um, an ethnic study class every who's other we? Thursday. Who's, you say we. Who's we? The TNDC audience. Right. TNDC right. audience. So we have the ethnic study and a land use class. It takes tomorrow's the ethnic study, and the next Thursday will be the land use. And it's a, next Wednesday, I'm sorry. And it starts at 5 o'clock if you're interested. Is it only for TNC residents, or is it for the whole right. It's for everyone. For uh, everyone. Not just because when you no, say that, I, I no, just want to no, make you clarify that for everyone. It's for the community. All right. Thanks. Uh, any other announcements? Uh, okay. Uh, so what we're now going to do is read the last three digits on Did everybody each get ticket. ticket. Okay. Okay. The last three. <laughs> <laughs> the last three digits uh, on the tickets. Uh, until the, uh, the door prizes are gone. So we have interesting door prizes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now you can, if you don't like the front part, you can use the back part for, uh, you know, since this is the general line, you can go and start protesting uh, with them. So we have other door prizes. Don't show it. Oh, yeah, we're not These are, uh, these are, uh, uh, one of the prizes, there are other prizes. Um, these are uh, cal like calendars for your desk. And if you don't car? like that part, you can say what is you want on the back. Is it a car? Uh, okay, you guys ready? Yeah. But that, we have other prizes too. 286. 286. 286. Uh -oh. Somebody needs to shake up the. Are you? All right. It's an inside job. It's a gift card to all my favorite meats, coffee, and Far out. It's probably even more wired. Okay, the next number is going to be 319. That's me, I think. 319. All right. Thank you. Okay, so you can take a calendar.